Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video and it is Top 5 Thursday and this week's Top 5 is a little bit different because it is the Top 5 Forgotten Must-Haves. Now this list contains champions that were must-haves for content but have become somewhat sidelined because, well, better champs have been released or the content has moved past them. The champs in this list are by no means bad champs but their OP or God tier status has been diminished over time. Champs that are no longer as relevant because they've been nerfed or not released as five stars, such as right now, Scarlet Witch or OG Thor, who was just released as a five star uh, earlier in, last or later last year, excuse me, are not on this list. So let's go ahead and get this list started. Coming in at the number one spot is Blade. Blade was the must have champion for the longest time. I wanna say that, the, that he was the most hyped champion this game has ever had, really. He had the best synergies with some of the best champs for a long time, a ton of utility, and some mechanics that had never been seen before. Each player at the top of the leaderboard had a max sig blade as their top profile champ for the longest time, really as long as I can remember. Although Blade is still a top tier champ, his necessary his necessity, excuse me, to conquer so much of the game has dwindled with the new, with the release of newer champions. The number two spot is Star-Lord. He was the OG damage dealer and the solution for all really long form content in MCOC for a long time. From the days of ROL to LOL, Star-Lord was the guy for high health pools. MCOC went a long time without another ramp up champ that could output his damage. It wasn't until really Aegon was brought into the contest that Star-Lord was outshined. But over time, others have come out with more utility and other bells and whistles making Star-Lord pretty much a bench warmer for long-term content. He is still, though, a really good champ and a lot of fun to play. OG Guillotine takes the number three spot, and this was Kabam's first creation and another must-have in your roster back in the day when Realm of Legends was the content to beat. She was the best option for that nasty Wolverine regen that blocked so many people from completing Realm in the early days of MCOC. If you didn't have Gu Guillotine on your roster, then the only other two options at that time, if I can remember correctly, was holding a high hit combo with a three-star Star Lord or keeping a consistent heal block with OG. OG vision. But like other champs on this list, she has been relegated to the bench by so many other champs that can heal block, heal reverse, or out damage Wolvie's regen. OG Black Widow takes the four, number four spot and she was a war must have. With her 100% ability accuracy, she bypassed all of the stun immune spideys, annoying Ultrons, and, and pesky nodes like Thorns. I remember fighting Moors on the old map where, you know, everyone in our BG and the Alliance were facing, you know, we all had four star Black Widows. She was the queen of war defense before seasons, rankings, and brackets. You know, back when war was actually fun. <laughs> Now, she did catch a nerf in 12.0, in, uh, excuse me, reducing her ability accuracy. However, if she hadn't been nerfed, I still think she would be an average or mid-tier champion in 2020. Now, so many other champs can now reduce ability accuracy and bypass evasion, unstoppable regen, and damage-inducing nodes that her unique abilities are pretty, pretty much a commonplace now, if you think about it. In reality, the slow debuff that a lot of champs now have has pretty much made her, well, irrelevant. The number five spot belongs to Ultron. Yes, the OG metal beast essential for AQ when map five was the mess was the best map, excuse me, to play. You could take any path because you had the immunities and he had a reliable and consistent regen. He was also the best war boss for some time. Now, of course, other double immune champs and regen champs came out and well, Ultron lost his spark. His damage was really never fantastic fantastic, but it was his immunities and sustainability that made him a must have back in the day. And what's a list without an honorable mention? Taking the honorable mention for the uh, forgotten OGs that everyone must have was Starkey. Now, when Starkey was introduced, he was the new and improved Spidey that everyone wanted and needed. He had a high damage, a unique playstyle, and synergized well with Blade, thus creating the Holy Trinity. When you got him back at the day, he was an automatic rank five, but today, 
not so much. He's still a great champ, don't get me wrong, but I think he is kind of overpowered and overshadowed by Stealthy. If you pulled Stealthy and Starkey out of two back-to-back -back crystals today, I feel like Stealthy would be the one to rank up because he has more utility than Starkey. But anyways, guys, that's all that I got for this week's top five must-have forgotten OG champs. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of my top five and honorable mention forgotten OGs? Did I miss anybody? Do you agree with my list or should, should I have someone else on here? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.